Hey all, and welcome back to Fuzzy Dots of Gaming and a new video on the channel uh, going over how I bulk sell my essences. The first thing I would say is, even though you can bulk sell them on TFT for the convenience factor, it's not as convenient as it looks and you are losing a lot of value. Just as an example, let's have a look at these contempts I've got here. Now I'm not going to assume I've got 37 because that's quite a lot, but I will explain how I got those shortly. Let's say I had nine, you can sell them for 10 chaos each. If you were to sell these on Peer Ninja, uh, sorry, on TFT, firstly, they're going to take a cut and the value is eight chaos. So they're going to take 10%, which lowers the value of those to about seven chaos. Whereas we have got the opportunity, if we just have nine, to sell for 10 chaos. It's insane the amount of difference TFT can make for certain essences. So it's not that much more difficult to sell them yourself and you are going to lose divines of value if you have a few essences. Next thing I want to talk about, which essences should you level up? I've seen a lot of people when they play the game, they just go upgrade and then they click every upgrade button until it disappears, but this is costing you money. So why is that costing you money? Because there are two essences that sell for much higher values in shrieking than deafening. Greed is a prime example. If we said we had, yeah, nine of these, you can get 2.5 chaos for one. It's three to one to trade them in to level them up. So these deafening have to be worth seven and a half chaos for it to be even worth it. We go into bulk trade and they're four chaos. So you are losing a ton of money upgrading these to deafening. And it is the same with shrieking essences of dread. If we go in here and we have a look at these in bulk, if we say, say again, we had like, let's say seven. They're going to sell for three chaos each, or even if you undercut 2.7 chaos each. So deafening would need to be seven and a half chaos. Now I don't actually have any deafening, so we're just going to go really quickly. I'm going to search in Path of Exile Trade for these, which is here. So these have to be seven to eight chaos, and they're not. They're four to five. So again, leveling up these essences to deafening is going to cost you money. So that's the first thing. Don't buy off TFT and don't level up dread and Greed essences past shrieking. Secondly, as I said, you want to sell in bulk. So don't sell every couple of hours. Wait until you've got tons of bulk, like 10 or 20 of each essence. Price them all at once and do your selling all in one go. The more essences you have, the more you can demand for them because it's convenience for the buyer. Especially something like Contempt, where people are crafting physical bows. They will need hundreds of these to craft their bow. So the more you have, the more you can charge because the less time they have to spend trading, the more time they can spend either crafting their bow or doing their mapping strategy and making money. Now, one thing I will say is essences market can be a bit strange in that sometimes your essences will fly off the shelf and sometimes they won't. So you will price these all competitively, but they won't necessarily all sell instantly. And don't think because I haven't sold it's because they're not cheap enough because you might end up driving the price down too low. It could just be that at the time you're listing that essence, there isn't anyone needing that to craft. And that's the majority of the reason, or really the only reason at this stage of the league that you would need bulk essences. Some essences sell much quicker than others and lowering the price doesn't necessarily sell them quicker. There is no one after those essences at the specific period of time. And then the last thing to go over is what do you do with your essences that are not worth any money? So there are four essences that really don't sell for very much money. And they are these here. They are suffering, doubt, torment, and anguish. Before this video, I went and bought some of these on trade and they're two C each in bulk. And you've noticed I've got none in my stash tab here. Now, why is that? The reason is I'm using harvest to turn these into better essences. So let's go before we do that and have a look at realistically what the next worst essence is. And it's probably fear. In fact, these might be worth, oh no, they're actually worth a bit of money. So fear is probably the next worst essence and these are 3C in bulk. So this kind of is too expensive to re-roll, but it's borderline. So what it means is, is if you're re-rolling these essences, it obviously can't re-roll into itself. As long as it doesn't roll into one of these three or fear, then you're going to make quite a bit of money. If it re-rolls into fear, you're still actually going to make money. And I'm going to explain how it works. Now it's a fixed flat fee to change your essences. So you can see here, it's 30 blue life force to do one essence. Now at the moment, blue life force is 11,000 per divine. So if we do 11,000 divided by 250 chaos, you're getting 44 blue life force for a chaos. 
So let's just round up the 45 to make the maths a bit easier. So to make this easier, it costs us 30 to re-roll an essence and it costs us 45 essences we can get for one chaos. So essentially it's costing you 0.66 chaos to re-roll one essence. So as you can see, even if we hit the minion one, we're going to make money. As long as we don't hit these three, we make money. So in the long run, because of the amount of essences there are, you are always going to make money doing this re-roll. Not only will it make you money, it could end up making you extra profit because it might add to your bulk of a good essence, which then means you can charge a little bit more money for it. Um, so just for the purpose of the video, I'm going to re-roll the minion ones anyway because I don't have any of the other ones uh, to trade in. So let's assume these minion ones are one of the worst tier essences. You're going to put them in. It's going to cost us 150 life force, which as it worked out at 45 life force of chaos is just over three chaos to re-roll all of these essences. So we're going to do that. We're going to craft. And again, we've hit spite. So these essences were worth 3C each. If we look at a bulk of five, they're now worth four, but with more, which you're going to add to your stash, which is what I'm saying, it sort of works out a double dip. You're going to be able to sell these for six. So for essences that were worth three chaos, we've now turned them with one reroll into essences that are worth six. And like I said, it's going to then add to your bulk. So I now have 20 essences of spite. Um, so how much of those if I want to do 20? Yeah, six chaos. And that's what I do with them. It's not mega, mega profitable, but there's two things it does. As I said, it will add to your bulk price when it hits a big essence. If you get lucky and hit one of these huge essences, you are making a lot of money. And also it's less essences that you have to sell. You don't have to sell your suffering, your doubt, your torment, or your anguish because you're going to be re-rolling them so it's less trading. And then the last thing I wanted to go over um, before we close out the video is Atlas Tree. Now I see a lot of people when they run their Atlas and a lot of Atlas trees I've seen online recommend going this way because you get a 20% chance to get a remnant of corruption in your essences because these bulk sell for 2C each. But realistically, to me, that's the wrong way of doing it. If you've done this for a while, you should have tons if you haven't been selling them of corruption essences. And if we go and have a look at what the actual special essences are worth, they are 23 to 30 chaos. So horror is 30 and hysteria is 23. In bulk, they're a bit more. And these sell in bulk for about 2C. So I don't think it's ever worth doing that because what you're going to do is in 20% of your essences, you're not going to be able to use an essence of corruption because it's corrupted. And there's two scenarios where you want to use them. Firstly, if they've got any of the purple essences, you can obviously use your corruption essences to try and turn it into a big essence. The other scenario is if you have a lot of shrieking essences in one and one screaming, you've got a chance to upgrade every single tier. Now what it will do is upgrade all your shrieking to deafening and it upgrades your one screaming to shrieking. Because you have a shrieking, it will double the essence drops. So you can end up getting six to eight deafening essences out of one essence monster that you wouldn't be able to do if you took the Atlas nodes because you're not going to be able to corrupt um, their essence. So here's an example. This would have had a 20% chance to be corrupted before. So it'd be shrieking essence of dread, screaming essence of spite, and then just an essence of corruption. What we can do is corrupt that essence and it gives us a chance to upgrade that to one of the special essences. It's failed in this case, but overall, I think it's definitely worth doing because of the price of the special essences. Is it going to make a massive difference? Probably not. But I do think you make a lot more money by not running the corruption mod and just corrupting any essences you've got that think are worthwhile value wise. So we'll just go and kill this beast and then we'll uh, take the currency out of it. And then we'll nip back into the hideout and we'll carry on the video. So very quickly to summarize, don't use TFT. Bulk sell at sensible prices in groups of say 10 and re-roll your bad essences into good essences and do not upgrade shrieking essences of greed and shrieking essences of dread. And um, that's it for the video. Hope to help some people out. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and see you in the next one.